Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And this kind of unique thing is the double drive screwdriver. It's a ratcheting screwdriver that's got two little tricks up its sleeve. Makes it a little bit different. Now these double drives, that's actually the company, I guess. It's a Chinese tool, inexpensive, sells for between $16 and $19. Uh, on Amazon. There's a link below if you want to actually look at it. And they also make a T-handle, they make a stubby, they make a few others, all using this double drive concept, which means there's a geared system in here, kind of um, a horizontal and vertical gears that give this a ratchet. You can see when I turn it like this, you can see there's a magnetic thing. This is a really weak magnet, which is too bad. Uh, but anyway, so it's a ratchet. Uh, if I flip the lever, ratchet the other way, there is no in-between. In fact, if you kind of catch it in-between, you can't actually get it in there. It spins in either direction. Um, so unfortunately, there's no way to lock it there. See, you can see that's just spinning around. Um, but anyway, the uh, interesting feature about this is if I hold this collar, you can see there's a mark right up here. Or you can watch that. And as I turn in back and forth, it only goes one direction. Uh, it's kind of like a air pump, you know, for a raft or something that pumps on both the upstroke and the downstroke. So it's very quick. Um, well, I, they say two times faster. Uh, I don't see it that helpful for a lot of screws because um, you also lose a lot of leverage that way, but I do think it would be good if you were driving in a lot of like machine screws, say in appliances, and you needed to zip a bunch of them in, and then you can tighten them because it, then it just uh, turns like a regular screwdriver, so you can apply a bunch of force once you've zipped it in. There are others um, that do this. I think um, Vera makes one uh, that's a little more complex, but real simple design here. Um, so I think nut driving might be its forte. The other tool, or the other thing it has up its sleeve is this. In the back is a bit carousel. And that's not that unusual. Lots of screwdrivers have that, but you can easily pop the bit carousel out and insert one maybe more useful to the task at hand. So if I was, um, they barely fit in here. If I want, if I pop this one out here, come on, there we go. Uh, say I wanted Torx in there, I could just grab a bit set of Torx and start working. Um, I'll show you kind of how this thing works. I'm going to grab a piece of cardboard here and line this up. Um, because it's a two-handed operation, in order to get that double uh, or that two times the speed, you actually have to hang on with both hands, which means a lot of times you're hanging on to the workpiece. So anyway, I can put a screw in here and go ahead and start this. I can start it maybe normally using the ratchet, um, but once it gets going, um, get this screw started, then I could move up and grab this um, and use that double speed to, draw, to drill a screw in. But trying to do this in wood, I don't know if that would work very well. But you could easily do that with certain kinds of um, machine heads or hex head screws. But anyway, there it is, the double drive. Kind of an interesting screwdriver. I was curious about it because it's not just a one-off. It's actually, it seems to have, you know, a bit of a small family, um, but not made all that well. But then they don't charge all that much. Maybe you've got a better idea as to what you could use this for. Let me know in the comments. And with that, Doc out.